Hi, I'm Gary White for Channel 6 Central Kentucky Television in Lebanon at the Marion County Heritage Center. And I'm here with Lottie Roby, who is the president of the Marion County Historical Society, and Rose Graves, who is vice president for the Historical Society, which runs the Heritage Center here in Lebanon. It's in the old courthouse, and the Heritage Center has gone through a remodeling phase. And there are going to be some new exhibits, as well as some returning favorites from the past, right? So we're going to get a chance to talk about some of the new stuff that's going on as well as some of the exhibits that are here and some that have expanded and grown over that time. And these two ladies are the ones that are making this all possible. So tell us, you're going to have a grand reopening for the facility. When's that going to be? That's going to be Tuesday, uh, May the 30th at 12 o'clock for our ribbon cutting. Okay, and that's going to be right on the top floor of the old courthouse right on Main Street, right? I think we're going to be on the second floor in the big okay. round rotunda. Okay, great. We're going to have it down there, and then they're going to be able to come upstairs and see all the stuff, right? Cool. Very good. Very good. Okay, so we're going to talk a little bit about some of the exhibits, some of the new stuff that you're going to get a chance to see, and one of those things is behind us, and it's a Maker's Mark exhibit, correct? That's correct. That's okay. Now tell us what, it, what this exhibit is. What's going on here, and how did this come about? Well, we were confronted with maybe having this for an exhibit, and it's kind of a display of, of how they do make our uh, bourbon maker's mark. Uh, if you okay. can see, it's not completely finished with the big top there. We'll have a, a piece yet to go on to make the circle. It's uh, got the bottles, and they make a circle, and then it comes back up, and it goes into the firing mode and in the where they dip the bottle and then it goes back over that top bottle shelf and it'll work its way yeah, out <laughs> it's going to going to that's a, a fake model of making the bourbon right it's a replica of what goes on so if you don't get down to loretto you can see it here at the heritage center as well now also i know that they you've done some remodeling downstairs you used to have a black history exhibit as part of the heritage center but you've kind of moved that upstairs and kind of expanded it as well correct yes and we have a whole lot of different things don't think that you're coming to see the same thing because we're going to rotate everything and have something different every time you come so where's all most of this these artifacts and information coming from do you get them from people in the community uh, yes, uh huh. They'll call and want to donate uh, something, and and uh, we just tell them to bring it on down, you know. And we're still asking for some, so get in your closet. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. and pass it along, right? And pass it along that we, uh, if you want to share it with us uh, here at uh, the Heritage Center, please just let us know. Just give us a call. Okay. Now, when somebody passes along, it is it become a permanent? part of the exhibit here or can they take it back? I think some is permanent and some is on loan right. okay. and we do you know have kind of like a little contract and whatever so okay. it's just whatever the individual wants us to do with their artifacts. So as we're recording this we're a little over a week away from the actual exhibit the grand reopening but we want to mention too that some of the favorites that you've had in the past are still here as well right some of our celebrities from the community including like Turtle Man, Eddie Miles, the Elvis impersonator they still have some exhibits as well right? Yes we do uh, as a matter of fact I think it's uh, they look really good they've been kindly moved they've not been put out they've just been remodeled that's right making room for everybody up here because part of this happened because uh, the american legion is now sharing the building for some of it too so some of the facilities that you had you had to kind of reconfigure your space right? right also katina johnson is here with her arts and festival uh project okay. a, a painting yeah. every monday night for Perfect. those interested so it's giving the opportunity for the building to be utilized by a lot of different organizations right 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 okay. so you also have some different rooms that are named after some famous marion countyans as well right can you tell us a little bit about some of the rooms i know like the hugh spaulding one and you have one named after veronica hill i believe and some of the different rooms that are part of the area here right yes um we have a uh, george payne's uh library and veronica hill uh genealogy and we have uh gene lanham's room and uh mr not yeah, yes, and Wallace Kelly and uh, Hugh Spaulding, and uh, it is a big display, and uh, we want you all to come out and just enjoy your Marion County history. 
Because we're touching upon everything there. I know like Hugh Spalding, he was a superintendent here for a very long time, right? And some of the other individuals, you know, Don Johnson, I believe, who moved into our community and uh, passed away not too long ago, but he had a huge exhibit with uh, with some music, right? And and Jean Lana Montrude has has uh, the farming a lot of uh, wonderful old antique farming pieces of equipment. So we have agriculture in there as well as the education and just kind of some history and genealogy. Do you have a lot of people come up here and try and learn their genealogy? No, uh, yes, uh huh. We um, we got more than what we used to have, and so we, we expand that, and we got a just a lot. And uh, we also have stuff on sports and churches and schools, and and uh, probably back to eighteen, nineteen hundred. Mm -hmm. It's unreal the pictures and the uh, literature that you can read on our history right here in Marion County. When we uh, reopen, which will be Thursday, June the 1st, there is going to be an admission. Okay. Uh, for adults, it's going to be $5. For the, our military and our senior, $3. And for children, 6 to 18, $3. And children under 6 is going to be free. We're also going to have special group rates for like our school children because we have experienced several groups of children, not only from Marion County, but other counties around to come and visit. So um, that is one reason why we're going to have uh, start charging is because we're going to have to have someone here all the time. Uh, and you can't do something all the time and not expect to be paid a little stipend of some sort <laughs> so uh, yes. we are going to have a fee for admission starting uh, June 1st June the 1st okay and again it's going to be a grand reopening of the facility if you've been here before before you need to come back because there's some new different stuff to see and the grand opening ribbon cutting is going to be on Tuesday May the 30th at noon right yes that's correct and that is open to the public to come on out it's open to the public and we I uh, hope you all come and 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 see your heritage fantastic well thank you very much for talking with me thank you thank for coming you. Right. again I've been talking with Rose Grace who's the vice president for the historical society as well as with uh, Lottie Roby, who is the president for the Historical Society. And if somebody's interested in becoming a member of the Historical Society, can they do that as well? Yes, we accept membership all year long. It's uh, normally from uh, January through December. It's $25 per person. As of right now, I think we have the last count I had was 98, and we um, have gotten several in since that, you know, how they'll come in a stream. So we do have over 100 already for membership. Great. Well, thank you very much. All right, this has been Gary White for Channel 6 Central Kentucky Television.